श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कवितार्किक केसरी वेदांताचार्य वर्यो मे सन्निदत्ता सदा हृदय वी आर स्टडिंग पादुका सहस्रम वी विल नाउ सी द एटी फर्स्ट वर्स ऑफ पादुका सहस्रम एंड फिफ्टी फर्स्ट वर्स ऑफ द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ पादुका सहस्रम कॉल्ड प्रभाव पद्धति मणिपाद रक्षे राजन्वती सृष्टिरिय प्रजा स्त्रीराज्य दोष प्रशमाय नून निर्दिश्य से नाथ विशेषण सो दिस इज दिफ्टी फर्स्ट वर्स हियर द पादुका इज अड्रेस मणिपाद रक्षे Mani Padarakshe means Paduka, which has been set with gems. Gems are have been set in that Paduka or in that footwear. Mani Padarakshe. Padarakshe means Paduka footwear. Then Em this Em. This prajanam prajanam means of these people, this people. That means all the uh, people who are living in this world. Or praja can also mean all living beings. So yam prajanam srishtihi srishtihi. creation so creation of all the living beings so creation of this universe that is the meaning creation of this universe tvayaiva it is indeed by you tvayaiva tvayaiva it is indeed by you that this whole world is created all living beings are created this universe is created राजन्वती 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 मींस गुड रूलर गुड राजा गुड किंग गुड रूलर सो हियर यू हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्ल्ड you are you are the only person who can rule this world or this universe as its best king rajanvati so traditionally or conventionally it is believed that it is a fault or a dosha or a blemish that a particular nation is governed by a woman what does it mean here it means that a person needs some qualities of authority and so that is what is needed for becoming a good ruler or good king the quality of statesmanship or authority and so that quality may might be present in a woman also but conventionally this effeminate behavior is considered to be something which lacks in authority a behavior that lacks in authority and that is why that is considered to be a defect so rulership by a 
woman is considered to be defective because conventionally it is considered that it is lacking authority so here paduka is feminine paduka is feminine and so paduka is being referred to here as the ruler as the rajanvati so you are the ruler you are you allowed or the best ruler and you stree rajya dosha prashamaya because you are a ruler and because you have a feminine gender paduka feminine gender and because it is con considered that a feminine ruler is not correct stri rajya dosha so that's a that's a defect that's a blemish prashamaya in order to remove that blemish in order to remove that defect nath visheshanena nirdishyase nunam nunam certainly nath visheshanena nirdishyase so here the idea is that because you you are the ruler of this universe and you are the able ruler you are the able person who can control the entire universe but less there should be the defect of stri rajya dosha that you are running a an, an empire and the that empire has the defect of being run by a woman and because you are of the feminine gender so to remove that defect nath visheshanena nirdishyase you are you are called by the name of your natha by the name of your lord so always the paduka is referred to as the paduka of shri ranganatha so who is ruling the world the paduka of shri ranganatha natha visheshanena nirdishyase so you are you are nityam nirdishyase so you are always referred to you are always referred to by the name or the adjective visheshana adjective of natha that means who is your lord so your lord is ranganatha so you are always referred to by that name noonam indeed or certainly that is why you are referred to by that name that is the uh, that is the idea so here again vedanta deshika brings a beautiful imagery he it's called utpreksha this figure of speech or this literary device is called utpreksha so paduka of lord ranganatha it is the ruler or if we can use the gender she is the ruler of all worlds or the entire universe why 
because her influence is so great her influence is so great but paduka is always referred to as ranganatha sri ranganatha paduka rama paduka krishna paduka keshava paduka mukunda paduka paduka is not referred to as just paduka because if it is just paduka it could be the paduka of anyone and then there will be no glory glory of paduka is because it is the paduka of lord ranganatha that is the glory of paduka it is the paduka of lord ranganatha if it were not the paduka of lord ranganatha what would be the glory there will be no glory and so always the paduka is referred to as ranganathas paduka lord ranganathas keshavas paduka mukundas paduka narayanas paduka etc ramas paduka and why it is like that because the smriti texts olden texts containing social codes those texts they don't approve of of a woman ruler stri nayaka so they don't approve of of a woman ruler and that is why paduka is nath visheshanena nirdishyase the paduka is referred to by the adjective for natha the adjective for the lord of the paduka and that is shri ranganatha himself or the lord has the entire universe entire universe not just the living beings but also living non living sentient non sentient conscious unconscious non conscious everything the entire universe is an adjective of the lord and lord himself becomes a adjective for paduka in this particular verse so here one can say that the entire world indirectly becomes the the adjective of the paduka so paduka is so supreme that the ultimate reality brahman also becomes an adjective to paduka so lord is an adjective brahman is an adjective of paduka so it is though in this verse it is said that it is to remove the defect of stri rajya or stri rajya dosha but this verse is effectually showing the greatness of the paduka the paduka is alone the fittest the fittest ruler of the entire of the entire universe of the entire universe another meaning here is though so the paduka is also considered an acharya and though acharyas are greater than lord because it is acharya who shows the path to lord but they the acharyas are always referred to in reference to the lord's name in connection to lord's name so lord's name is added to the acharya's name and so that is that increases the glory of the acharyas 
In the next verse, 82nd verse, Vedanta Deshika says, Bibharshi Nityam Mani Paduke Tvam Vishwam Bharam Dhama Nijena Bhoonna Tavanu Bhavash Chulaki Krutoyam Bhaktai Rajasram Bhavatim Dadanaihi. So, He Mani Paduke. Again, Mani Paduke means Paduka or footwear in which gems are set. Embedded with gems. Mani Paduke. Tvam you Nijena your or your own your Nijena Bhumna glory by the glory Vishwambaram Ambaram means substratum or support. Vishwambaram, the support of the entire universe. Vishwambaram. Vishwambaram Dhamma means Lord Ranganatha Dhamma. Nityam always always nityam always vibarshi vibarshi you carry you carry you bear because lord ranganatha's feet is borne by paduka it carries or bears lord ranganatha's feet tava you are I am this. Tava, I am this. You are this. What this? Tava, I am Anubhavaha, glory. You are this glory. This glory. Ajasram, always, Bhavatim. So, we have to understand Paduka is feminine. So, you are this glory. Ajasram, always, always, Bhavatim. So, you, to you, Bhavatim means feminine gender. To you, Bhaktaihi, by the devotees, by the devotees, Chulaki Krita, Chulaki Krita means it is in your palm of your, in your palm, it is in your palm, that means it is something within your grasp, Dadhanaihi Bhavatim you dadanaihi holding or bearing holding or bearing bhaktaihi devotees chulaki krataha it is in their palms so what is the meaning here the meaning is mani paduke you are great or you hold the entire universe. Because you hold Lord Ranganatha who sustains the entire universe. So you have your own greatness. By your own greatness, you hold on to the entire universe. By holding on to Lord Ranganatha. And this, your Prabhava or your Anubhava, your glory, this glory is only to 
known to some devotees who always ajasram who always bear you on their heads so it is known means chulaki krita hai means it is in the palm of their hand means it is comprehensible apprehensible within their grasp what is within their grasp the greatness of you your greatness oh paduka your greatness is such that you are holding or bearing you are sustaining the sustainer of the entire universe lord rangnatha sustainer of the entire universe you are sustaining so your greatness is very great you are so great and that greatness is understood only by few people only by few people who understand that because they bear you on their heads when the paduka is kept they on the head so they bear you on their heads and also they bear you in their hearts also in their hearts also so it is not that the glory of the paduka of lord ranganatha is reduced because only very few people can understand the paduka or comprehend the greatness of paduka so here what is told here is that paduka is in fact greater than the lord of the universe lord ranganatha so a person who holds on to the paduka a person who keeps paduka on one's head then that person becomes a little goes little higher <coughs> than the paduka itself so earlier in the verse 26 verse it was said that a, the more a person goes down the more a person goes down in terms of hierarchy the higher the person rises so chuluka krita chuluka means the depth of one's palm or one can say the cavity kind of straight in one's palm so chuluka krita means it is so small that it can be held in the palm so the paduka bhaktas they are so small that they can be held in the palm like that but because of the glory of paduka their glory also increases and also paduka's glory also increases so the greatness of all the bhaktas is greater so the greatness of people who have devotion for devotees is greater than the greatness of devotees themselves if somebody is having devotion for devotees that person is greater than the devotees themselves this is the idea so here because paduka so only few people have understood the real significance or real greatness of paduka only few people have understood but that does not reduce the glory of paduka the glory of paduka continues to be great because the paduka which holds or which sustains the entire universe by sustaining the lord of the entire universe who sustains the entire universe 
So here, the glory of Paduka is known or is accessible to only people who are handful, who can be a number of people who can be contained in one's palm. Then Vedanta Deshika says, Parasya Pumsaha Padasanni Karshe Tulyadi Kara Manipaduke Twam Uttam Sayanti Swayam Uttam Angaihi Shesha Samam Shesha Garutma Dadadhyaha Shesha Garutma Dadadhyaha Dadhyaha Uttma Dadhyaha Shesha Garutma Dadhyaha so again here Mani Paduke. Mani Paduke means the Paduka which is set with gems. Mani Paduke. Mani Paduke. What is being told here? Parasya Pumsaha. Parasya Pumsaha. Parasya Pumsaha means of Lord Ranganatha, who is the greatest person, Paramapurusha, Parasya Pumsaha, Pada Sannikarse. Sannikarse means near, Pada means feet. Pada Sannikarse, so being near the feet. Tulyadi Karam. Tulyadi Karam. So that is having same status or having same kind of responsibility. Twam. Tulyadi Karam. Twam. You. To you. Shesha Garutma Dadadhyaha. Shesha Garutma Dadhyaha. So Shesha means Adi Shesha, the snake on which Lord Ranganatha is reclining or lying down. Shesha Garutma Dadhyaha. And also Garuda Adhyaha Garutmad. Adhyaha. So, Adhyaha and so on, etc. Swayam, yourselves. Swayam, yourselves. And then Uttamanga. Uttamanga means we all know it is the uh, Uttamanga best part best limb or best part. So that is head. Shesha Samam. Shesha Samam. Samam. So Shesha Samam means like making something like a circle. Shesha Samam. Like a circle. Which are it's a it's a it's called Shesha Samam means it's like a circle kind of cloth which is worn on the heads of the devotees. Worn on the heads of the devotees. So here, this Shesha, it is called Shesha Vastra or Shesha Patta. So this Shesha Patta that has been already referred to in the 41st Shloka. So that reference is again made here. Uttan Sayati. Uttan Sayati means they are making, they are decorating their head. Decorating their head. 
what is the understanding what is the meaning of a, this particular verse see who shesha means adi shesha garutma means garuda adhyaha and so on who are pada sannikarse who are tulya dikara they are all doing the same kind of service they are all doing the same kind of service to whom to lord rangnatha why pada sannikarse parasya pumsah pada sannikarse pumsah person what kind of person parasya means the greatest person that is lord rangnatha of that person's feet pada sannikarse near that feet tulya adhikara all people are serving that particular feet of lord rangnatha in the same manner in the same manner serving the feet in the same manner and here they are in the same category or they are in the same manner yet what do they do they make you their ornament of their head uttam sayanti they make you the ornament of their head shesha samam they make you the ornament of their head just when a person wears that shesha patta or shesha vastra it looks as though it is an ornament so that is what just like the shesha samam shesha samam means shesha shesha vastra samam shesha patta samam just like the shesha vastra so when somebody looks at it they feel like it is shesha patta so so that the this shesha patta is kept on the head so that people can go to the temple and they can the paduka can be kept on their heads paduka can be kept on their heads so all the people like adi shesha garuda etc they are doing service in near your feet sannikar se near your feet and they are doing the service and they all fall in the same category they nobody is great nobody is less they all tulya adhikara they all follow in the same fall in the same category and they are all, they are all same and but though being same they make swayam uttama angaihi they make at uttam sayanti their own heads they decorate they decorate their own heads so they their own heads how do they decorate by making you their ornament of their head because they put it on your on their heads so you become their ornament and so they decorate their heads so here the paduka paduka is great because it is it is bearing the feet of lord rangnatha near whose feet all these great adi shesha garuda vishvak sena all people are sitting there serving lord rangnatha so paduka of lord rangnatha is in the vicinity of such great persons and so as far as serving of the lord rangnatha is concerned the paduka and all these other people are all 
Tulyadikara. They all belong to the same category. And they all have Tulya Adhikara. They all have the equal status of service, which is, we know, called Kainkarya. Kainkarya means service. Kainkarya. So, service. So, as far as the service of the Lord is concerned, all these people, that is Adi Shesha, Garuda, Vishwaksena and such other people, they all fall in the same category as the Paduka. So here the word is Padasannikarsha. Padasannikarsha. So Padasannikarsha is service to the Lord Raghunatha, service to the Lord of the universe. But other devas like Brahma, Rudra, Indra, etc., they also serve Lord Ranganatha. May not be like you serve Paduka, but they are also serving. And uh, this service that you, Paduka, is giving to the Lord, it is something which is very close and something which is unparalleled. So that's why Paduka is very important. Paduka is important. It is worshipped. Paduka is respected. Why? Because it is in the same status or the same it has the same ability or it has the same right to serve. And that is why people, they want to put the Paduka on their head. And so when they do that, it appears as though the heads have been decorated. The heads have been decorated. So there was a reference to this Shesha Patta in 41st verse. And uh, all the cloth which is worn or which is used by Lord Ranganatha, that kind of cloth is what one one remembers when they see Paduka on the head of a devotee. Paduka on the head of the devotee. So similarly, this Adi Shesha or Ananta and Garuda, the, the, this example is very important because we all know Garuda eats snakes and Adi Shesha is a snake. But they come together in the sanidhya or in the in the presence in the presence of Lord Ranganatha. And so the Garuda also, Adi Shesha also, they put the Paduka on their heads. They put the Paduka on their heads, though they are also on a par with Paduka. So, in the Daya Shataka by Vedanta Deshika, Daya was, is considered one of the many qualities which is referred to, which are referred to by in the case of a devotee or lord. So here, Paduka is considered to be the place where Paduka is shown. Paduka is shown respect, is given respect, love, admiration by other 
sevakas by other people who are attending to the lord ranganatha so kainkarya is happening kainkarya is being done by many people in various ways of lord ranganatha but greatest kainkarya is when one is able to serve other devotees of lord ranganatha or other people who are already serving lord ranganatha so here paduka is serving lord ranganatha by carrying lord ranganatha everywhere but ananta and garuda they worship paduka itself so for them though they are tulya adhikari they have the same authority or the same right as others they have the same right though that is the case but they respect and revere paduka so because this is prabhava paddhati it is where the glory of paduka is told it is where the glory of paduka is told so here the glory of paduka is such that even others who are serving the lord ranganatha they also worship the paduka om shanti 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 hari om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanam astu